Hi everyone, this episode is so amazing. Jim Clark, the CEO and founder of the only CRM built specifically for agencies, joins me today for a value-packed episode on how his high-level CRM works perfectly with my agency sales system. You see, Sean and I have been working behind the scenes for over six months to make sure that all agencies can use both the power of my lead harvesting formula, my lead magnet diversification, and combine that with his all-in-one, easy-to-use, agency-centric CRM. We both know this is the system that will double and possibly triple your lead flow off of your already existing traffic. We both know this system will automate your follow-up, your appointment scheduling, your SMS marketing, and so much more. Tune in as Sean and I discuss how to drive high-value leads consistently that can be dialed up and down as your agency needs more revenue. Enjoy the episode. Hello, everyone. Lee Goff with Agency Success GPS Podcast. I am honored to have a new a new friend turning into a great friend, Sean Clark, on the on the dial on the horn today. Um, he is the CEO and founder. He founded Go High Level, right? Is that right? I well, am. I think you. Yep. Yep. Okay. And so honored to have you on here. I heard about Go High Level. I think it was 2018. I can't remember the exact date. And uh, at the time, everybody was talking about, you know, uh, it's the only all-in-one CRM uh, automation platform for agencies. And had to admit, I was a little skeptical. I was. I didn't really dive into it a whole lot at the time. <clears throat> Jump ahead two years. And during the, in the pandemic, Sean reached out to me and was like, dude, come on, man. I've been seeing your stuff all over. Let's, let's get into this. And so anybody who's been following me knows that I launched my agency sales system December last year in 2019 man 2020 just blinked and there was gone so anyway and so we ran i don't know 15 or 20 people through it now and it's a very unbelievably robust system it's not the kind you want to go out and sell a thousand of these to it's not like a, a it's a done for you super high end super effective sales system and when i saw go high level i was like oh my gosh i should look into this sooner because it fit perfectly into the four pillars. And so let me, for all of you out there who are not familiar with the four pillars of a successful agency sales system, let me spend about just two or three minutes on that. And then Sean, you and I are going to tell everybody basically how your system not only fits perfectly into mine, but it has it all, it makes it easy, basically. It makes it super easy to drive a lot of leads and follow up with them. Okay, so ultimately that's all we care about. I'm sorry, that's all I care about for y'all is to be able to get y'all leads and, and drive those leads uh, effectively, get some run, money and profit over there. So pillar one, diversification of lead magnets. You got to be able to create those lead magnets very quickly, test them out on your website, determine the winners and, and the losers, and then and, and continue to move forward. It's critical. A lot of people get caught up in doing the perfect uh, lead magnet. Big, big mistake, big, big mistake. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that, but it's critical that you have five to seven diversified pain point driven lead magnets. That's pillar number one. Pillar number two, delivering those to your target audience at the right time. So Pain points are for, for, for well, they're pain. You don't, you don't go to the doctor for the same ailment every single time. So people are not going to visit your website for the same problem they have in their business every single time. So you need to make sure and deliver those lead magnets on the pages that they're entering into. My SEO sucks. Your SEO sucks lead magnet needs to be on the SEO sucks service page, for lack of a better term. Okay? Deliver the right content to the right person at the right time, and it's unbelievable how much more, how many more leads you can convert. Now, Pillar number three and pillar number four is where Sean comes in and takes everything up to like a whole new level. Go High Level is an all-inclusive system that includes, uh, I don't want to ruin it, honestly, about every damn thing. SMS, email, automation, on-demand cal uh, calendar scheduling, and everything. Literally, literally everything. When I say everything, most of them I'm like, ah, a little extra asterisk there, but this one actually includes everything. To build out my agency sales system and other platforms, I have to bring in like Calendly, I have to bring in Infusionsoft or Active Campaign or HubSpot, and I got to marry them all together. And it works wonderful. It's a very simple system. But with Sean, it adds two things to this thing that make it unbelievably easy. All of those systems that cost you additional money if you're doing it in other platforms, that's all absorbed. It's all absorbed into one flat rate fee. You get it all for one flat rate fee. That by itself will save you between on the low end $200 a month on the high end, if you're doing it in HubSpot, about two grand a month, guaranteed to save you at least $2,500 a year up to $25,000 a year, depending on how 
you got everything considered. Okay, so that cost savings is always a big thing. If it's free, it's for me. <laughs> Kidding me. But you know, but it, but it, but it is what it is. Now, on top of that, again, it's all integrated, so you don't have to worry about zapping this over to this and over to this and over to this. It just all works perfectly, and so it's a lot easier to use. And then on top of that, the the, the second part of this thing, the first part is that it's easy to use and it's going to save you a ton of money. Okay, and the second part is is that it goes perfectly in alignment with my productization, not to confuse everything, but you can do something called snapshots. So today, I want to pick Sean's brain about the all-included tools, okay? So I'm going to ask him questions. Okay, this is how I do it over here. This is the impact that it has for my students and their lives and how it makes them better. Now, tell me how high level, go high level does that, okay? Are you ready? It's going to be like a rapid fire kind of thing. I'm excited. You ready? All right. I'm ready. All right. All right, so you know that on the front end, and I don't have, I don't have the examples of the podcast, but I was hoping to show some digital here. But uh, on the front end, we diversify the lead magnet. So on every single page, there's three different lead magnets. You and I have been working together to get that done. And by the way, this is one of the reasons Sean is so good is because, again, when I say he's 100% dedicated to agencies, that's no bullshit, okay? That, that, that all he does every single day is blow me up on Messenger asking me, no, not, not, not literally, but I mean, all the time he's asking me, hey, is this good for agencies? Is this good for agencies? Do you think this is going to help? And I'm like, hell yeah, that's going to help. No, that's not going to help, whatever it might be. So he is passionate about everything you do. And so when he brought this system to me and, and, and we diversify the lead magnets, he's now working on the ability to, this is the one piece that's not in there, the ability to diversify the lead magnets aggressively on the website. We do it with Thrive. We push it straight over into like that, but he's building that out right now. So when it comes to harvesting leads on a website, list the top five ways Go High Level does that. Now, I know I'm not going to run it. You do it. So go. Well, sure. So, I mean, we can capture leads pretty much anywhere you want. So these could be funnels. These could be inbound SMSs. These could be form fills. These could be, um, you know, you, you name it, we could do it. It could be, it could even be inbound calls and call tracking. We have full, uh, we have full call tracking on the system as well, including dynamic number insertion and the whole nine yards. So if you're running ads, um, off of yep. campaigns and keywords, we can we can handle all those. So you you name me a, a a lead source, and I guarantee you we can drive it to the system. Exactly, and so that was my that's kind of the point I was trying to make here. You got the on, the calendar on demand scheduling calendar link, okay? Like that's all included, so you have your own scheduling system in there. So if people want to come in, and contact us, bounce into your schedule, uh, driving leads. Your chat widget, driving leads. Your ability to put a web form anywhere, driving leads. Okay, that these are just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more that you're just, responding to. We just launched Google My Business Messaging. <laughs> exactly. And responding to SMS text and goes straight into your system. I'm telling you, that's not an easy thing to do in other systems. And I've done it a hundred times. I mean, you can do it. Don't get me wrong. But this is like click done. Like click, click, you know, click. Well, I'm sorry. Drop the mic done. Okay. So <laughs> there it is. Okay. So it's super, super cool. And so I am always big about, like, again, on one page, you can deliver an exit intent, a slider intent, a ribbon, and it's all smart. So therefore, it doesn't bombard the, your prospects it only shows up if they're engaging with your content and so go high level does a phenomenal job of that of giving you all the tools you need to diversify your lead magnet and do not under, underestimate the importance of that and just about every single one of my students the minute that we turn on the, the lead magnet diversification their leads double and triple that's that's not an exaggeration that has happened every single time makes sense don't be yeah, no, don't be don't be the naive owner that says, oh, if they love me, they'll reach out to me and they'll remember my name. No, that's not how this works, ladies and gentlemen. You got to remain top of mind. And if you don't get their contact information, you cannot do that. That's right. No, okay. Sean has thought this all through, and he's asking coaches like me to give feedback. He has brought coaches just like me into the process and the fold, so we know as well as anybody, because one, we built the NABC, and two, we're coaching hundreds of them. And so I love the fact that you thought that through. I love the fact that you're proactive on the call to action management system. I know it's got a little ways to go. I know it's not quite there yet, but it's getting there. And I love the fact that you're so pro proactive on that. Now, I also want to talk about the automated follow-up systems because in my, in my system, I coach all of my students around what's called my lead harvesting formula. 92% of the people visiting your website are not going to give you any money at all, whether you want them to or not. It's not up to you. It's up to them. It's just this is the way it works, okay? 4% will give you money between 90 and 180 days. They're in what's called the in-depth research phase. And then the front 4% will actually sign and pay money to somebody within the next three months, okay? And it breaks out. The math works out wonderfully. Now, think about over the past three years in your agency, wherever you are in your agency, let's say hypothetically you have 1,000 people in your contact database. If you'd have been diversifying that over the past few years, you'd have three or 4,000. What would that do for your agency? 
there's a there's a lot of argument out there, but there's a direct correlation to the size of your database equals the, the size of your revenue. Okay, per contact record in your database equates to a dollar amount. Sean, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, yep. and you yep. can you to a very large degree can guess somebody's revenue based on their, how well they manage their contact database. It's not who 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 he or she who owns their own marketing database wins the game. And if you have not been doing that, you need to get on board with that aggressively, very, very, very quickly. Now, that does cause a little bit of a problem, though, because obviously you don't want to talk to 92% of the people coming to your website that are tire kickers. Talking to tire kickers sucks for everyone involved, <laughs> them and you. They don't want to be talking to you, and you don't want to be talking to them. You're both kind of stuck in this situation. So you have to be able to properly vet these prospects. You're going to be harvesting a lot more contact records, but you don't want to talk to all of them. You only want to talk to the front 80%. In my system, and before, and again, I built the system before I even shot, before I even knew Sean. So that's why when I talk about it, you know, my system, it's because again, it was out there before. So I have what's called prospect vetting. Name, email, they got five vetting questions, and then you get the phone number. Now I was working with Jonathan King, and you know who I'm talking about. And so we had to figure out how to do this. It was really cool creative on how he how he went about getting the, the questions so you can actually do surveys and questions and quizzes and things like that inside of go high level is that right that's right okay and so that's the prospect betting so whenever they not uh, opt in name and email you're going to bounce them to a quiz those quiz questions become your your, your segmentation data so you got a lead for seo they want you know your, the five bits of data now you got prospect identifiers to identify those and so now you can sell them 10 times easier but here's the most important part is after they do those prospect vetting questions, they get over and they ask them to get your phone number. That phone number creates an opportunity or a deal in the pipeline. So high level can do that as well, right? So this campaign goes through, it kicks off the automation, does the prospect vetting, and then it gives them, if they give the phone number, you can do another automation that kicks off all the opportunity and deal management, correct? Right, that's right. Okay, so, so there's, yeah, there's, so there's no drop off there at all. Love that. So again, you're harvesting all your contact records to be able to upload to Facebook, LinkedIn, email them, however, SMS, you now are in control of your marketing data for pennies on the dollar because you have the data. That's the name of the game. Don't, don't, don't kid yourself. That's totally the name of the game. And then two, you're vetting them. So you're not wasting your time. And three, you're managing them through your, it's not technically a waterfall system, but it's like a pipeline, pipeline management right. system. Yeah. You just kind of push it down through the thing. So um, you actually have a demo account up. And would you like to start a demo? Uh, oh yeah, and absolutely. Kind of how some of that looks. So go ahead. Yeah. I know I'm going to be talking. I'm going to be talking through this because it's a podcast. So I'm going to be talking through what I'm seeing now. For all of you out there who are listening to the podcast, who actually want to see this, it'll be on my YouTube channel, okay? And I'll get it over to Sean if he wants to put it up there. He can as well. Uh, but we're looking at a dashboard right now of the Go High Level app. Notice one thing up the top left. It's actually got the branded. Uh, Law Hustle, which I guess is like the demo client, but you can actually be your, that can be your brand, that can be That's your right. logo. So, yeah, this, so, so this CRM, yeah, this CRM actually becomes yours. Now, I'm going to hush up. I've been talking too much, Sean Go. So. Oh, I'm just going to say, yeah. So, I mean, we're 100% dedicated to marketing agencies. And as a result, the system is 100% white label. And there's a really good reason for that. Um, you know, we really believe that agencies are the right way for their, for their businesses that they serve to grow and to thrive. And so what we really want to make sure that our customers never have their customers do is confuse us as a tool with the outcome that they're getting in their business. And so if you're out there right now and you've used something like an active campaign or a HubSpot and you've had that scenario where the client's like, oh, you know, you know, we're just actually going to go buy active campaign or buy HubSpot and, you know, we'll kind of, we'll pause you. I love that. That's always the word they use. You know, that's where the client is sort of getting confused. That's like the technology, like the tool is really somehow driving those results when in reality it's the effort and the experience and all of the things that you bring to the table as an expert um, that's, that's really having those outcomes. And so for us, we never wanted that to happen. So it's first and foremost, high level is agency only. So it's not agency first or, you know, focus on agencies or any of this stuff. It's agency only. So that's very important to us. We do not sell the small businesses directly. And then two, we, we white label everything across the board to make sure that when you go out to your client, that they see your brand, not our brand. So it's very important for us to focus that, on. That, that's actually very important that physically manifests itself in your life like this. I've been an Infusionsoft partner forever, and it, I hate to say it, but the sales reps will compete against you because they're going after the same business. And it's a healthy thing. It's not like it's, a, you know, it's just the way it is. But I love the fact that you only sell to agencies and, and you let them sell it. You don't, you don't sell just B2B. B. You sell only, I'm sorry, you don't sell B to traditional small business. You sell B to, to agencies and let them do it for you. So there's no, there's no, no competition. There's nobody going to be undercutting you 
from corporate or anything like that. I love that. No, and I mean, and also, I also think there's a there's a bigger underlying reason there. I think that the number of people who take any take any system, Infusionsoft, HubSpot, Active Campaign, whatever, and use it successfully to market their business is very low. I think many of us, if you've been marketing for clients long enough, you've run into many people who you will you'll come in and you'll find that they have one of these very expensive tools in house, and you'll say, well, what are you currently doing with them? And most of the time, they'll say, oh, well, we send out an email newsletter every so often out of the thing or whatever it is, right? I mean, they're just, their capacity to use the tools and bring them to great effect is, is zero. And so we're just, we're personally of the viewpoint that selling direct is a waste of time. Companies do it because it makes money. Companies do it because they wanna grow, but we're not those people. Um, and you know, all of the other large competitors out there in this space, they're all venture backed. So, you know, the people that they, the people they have to please are their venture capital backers, not their customers. And so the venture capital backers want to see bigger numbers and more customers. And we're just more interested in helping agencies grow. So that's why we're more than happy to not sell to, you know, 98% of the business population and instead focus solely on the agencies. Love it. And you get, and you guys become the warriors for the Go High Level brand. And again, the snapshots, we've got to talk about the snapshots. Okay. That, yeah, that, absolutely. That's really a big absolutely. But, but show them some of the funnel and show them some of the automation. Show them, show them some of the basic. Some of the yeah. Basics. So, I mean, I think, I think the most important thing to think about when you think about high level is yes, we have a zillion features and I think that's awesome. But the most important thing that we do is we focus on lead to customer. And so it, I would say that whether it's an agency itself or as a customer, of your agency, if you think about that, I think that's oftentimes an easier concept for some people. When you have a customer come in, you know you 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 know you you can do an awesome job creating websites and lead magnets and funnels and all kinds of stuff and generate a lot of leads for them. But you know as well as I do, you hand that spreadsheet of leads over to them, and what do they do with it? Nothing. They don't follow up with the leads. And and the problem that with leads is leads are not customers. And if you don't have leads followed up with, they'll never become customers. And that nurture process is something that's really critical. And if and if any, any of you wanna see the facts on this, just go out and Google MIT lead study. Um, and I'll do that here just for the folks on YouTube. But if you Google MIT lead study, the very first thing that pops up is this lead uh, management study that MIT did, where they looked at leads generated on the web and they followed them from generation to close. And they tried to figure out, well, what makes a lead buy versus not? And it really came down to two things. One is speed to lead. So get to that lead within the first five minutes or less. And if the lead doesn't close off that first contact point, then can you follow up longer than anybody else? And if you can, you're gonna win every time. And so high level is really about that whole idea. So a lead walks in the door and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna reach out to that lead immediately. So that's over text, email, Google My Business Messenger, Facebook Messenger. We can even do live phone calls, um, <clears throat> you name it, any kind of outbound, voicemail drops. Um, we can do all of those contact points, but the idea is very simple. The lead comes in, we want to get to them very quickly and see if we can get them on the phone or get them to reply back and then get them in a conversation so you can close the deal or sit there and follow up with them as long as it takes to get them to reply back so you can close that deal. So it's really about lead follow-up and lead nurturing. Yeah, and, 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 and part of my system and what you can do in this as well is you can automate all of the mundane follow-up aspects. So the emails, SMS, the whatever it might be, uh, you can literally automate, uh, I automate about 90 to 95% of it. And my system, and you can do this in high level as well, will notify you when they raise their hand. So whenever they take specific actions or whenever they fill in that phone number or whatever that, that, that whatever those are, whatever they are, right? Whatever their actions are that tell you that they're a hot prospect, you can do that in here as well. That's the key to this. For you smaller right. agencies out there, you, you cannot afford to manually do this. You must use automation, the game changer. And that's what we're about to cover right here. So. Yeah, that's that's precisely correct. I would say that most people run into the situation where new leads aren't followed up with quickly. And then subsequently, the big mass of leads that you generate and have over time just aren't, aren't nurtured properly. And so you're spending your time running around trying to manually do all this work when you're, uh, if you're small, you're wasting your really valuable, precious time trying to actually follow up with these leads, trying to figure out which ones are going to do what when you can automate that whole thing. And even if you get bigger, you know, if you have a sales team and you're a big company, and all this other stuff, you know, being able to make your sales team twice as effective or three times as effective by automating the, the outreach um, is, is a huge cost savings. And again, should grow your company, 
significantly. So yes, it's all about speed to lead. It's all about getting those people to come in. And then once you've started to talk to them, have conversations, obviously you need to be able to track them. So you need like a sales pipeline tracking system, which we have that sort of helps you understand, all right, where are all these leads in the flow? Which one should I be spending my time on, right? Because eventually the goal here is simple. We're gonna get these people booked on your calendar. And of course we have an internal booking system like calendar schedule once or some of those things that you may have used. We replace that. Now they're on my calendar. Now they're to that point where my expertise is required. I need to be calling them. I need to be following up with them. But everybody on the front end, I can see that they're there. It's nice to know where they're at, but I also have that automated follow-up sort of talking to them, getting them down the funnel to the point where I need to jump in and be the person that I can, I can yeah. be and apply my expertise. Exactly. And for all the, for the podcasters out there who are not seeing the screen here, uh, right before the, this, we're on a screen right now that's where it's a drag and drop deals management. If you've ever seen Active Campaign or Keep or HubSpot or any of those, it's just like that. You literally are dragging it from new lead to prospect to appointment and so on and so on and so on. And right before the screen, we were on the marketing automation page where it was, you saw that, okay, as soon as the lead comes in, it's going to send them a text, it's going to send them an email, it's going to schedule a time for you to call. And so we automate all the follow up. And then whenever they raise their hand or express enough interest to actually bubble up to be a new hot, what we call hot lead, an actual legitimate prospect they'll pop into the deal management and that's when you're dragging them and dropping them through the whole uh through the whole what i call personal relationship rapport building thing so no that's that's absolutely right and you know and we have this nice really uh, if, on, on the screen now is the conversations page and this page really just allows you to unify and see and respond to all of the leads that you're working with um, from sort of like a one-stop shop and again you can respond via call email text message you can see all the responses from them, really just see the whole history of the conversation as well as continue to have it. Um, it's just an easy uh, place for you to, to jump in and actually uh, kind of manage all these conversations on an ongoing basis. Think about it like an inbox, like you do have for your email, but imagine having that for all the other forms of communication too. So inbound calls, outbound yeah. calls, inbound SMSs, all that stuff. Um, it just makes it a lot easier for you or your staff to sort of follow up with, with the leads. Yeah, I love that. Six lives. And again, for what's on the screen right here, what, what this is, again, conversations. And if you can literally from this one screen toggle between SMS, email, phone, whatever it might be, and send it all from right there, it's all centrally managed, it's all centrally tracked, and it's, it's, it's the easy button when it comes to communicating with prospects is what it is. So. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and so, you know, again, the goal here is both for your agency, but also for your agency's customers, right? We want, we, we need to create a tool that works for you and for them. And so that's the idea between high levels. So some of this, you know, when you, and on the screen here, what we're actually looking at is not just the agency's account, but also one of their customers. So in this case, it's visionary law group. They're a law firm. They're bringing in all kinds of leads for these people. They're automating the outreach initially. They're getting them booked onto the attorney's calendar. And then they're also um, allowing them to come in as the client and actually conversate within the app as a user um, for things that they, as an agency, aren't really responsible for. So, you know, if we're talking to somebody about their slip and fall at their employer or something, that's something where the agency gets that person to the point where they're asking questions, conversating with the law firm, and then the law firm can come in and actually take over the conversation and continue it. But at the end of the day, it creates accountability. It's a great tool for the law firm to use. And as an agency, you know, you can see how your clients are performing because at the end of the day, you know, your clients hired you really not to get leads. A lot of people talk about leads, but it's not leads that matter, it's customers. <laughs> and so if you don't have this, this sort of system to help bring people from lead to customer, you're gonna be in trouble. And if you figure out that, oh, you know what? My cl clients aren't following up with their leads. Well, this is how you're gonna see that, right? You're gonna see here in the system that the lead writes in and says, hey, I wanna give you money. And the, and, and the law firm says nothing. Right. And so that's how you lose your, and, and, that, and that's, but at the end of the month, we've all been there, right? That's when the law firm calls us up and says, your leads are terrible. Your leads are garbage. They never convert. And, and now with high level, you can come in and you can say, no, <laughs> you're wrong. Right there is where someone said, hi, I want to give you money. And your lawyer did, or your, you know, your friend desk person or whoever it's supposed to be that responds is going to respond. They didn't respond for two days. Well, no wonder they didn't convert you didn't bother to get back to them. And so this gives you accountability as an agency to go and, and eventually be proactive and help your clients do a better job converting those leads into customers, which is what's going to keep you in there at that customer for the long term. So it's a it's a great tool for that. I love that. So it's basically a warm handoff. Anybody out there who's ever been in the sales like lead process, 
There's a thing called warm handoff, and that warm handoff is a very slippery slope. If you don't get that right, then everything you've done pretty much is for naught because they're not going to get the handoff. There's not going to be any closes, no revenue means no contract for you. So, uh, been able to do the warm handoff through this platform, track it, and hold not only yourself and your staff but the client accountable. Big deal, very very big deal. So. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, for us, it's as we go forward in the future, it's, you know, it's been a lot about making sure we have all the sort of agency tools in one spot, but now we're really continuing to move out and we're starting to talk about the SaaS play, right? So one of the things that I think is really uh, amazing is we have a chat widget that you can put on the website of any of your, of your clients. And what you'll see overnight is that they'll start getting free leads. <laughs> there are people that come to their websites every day and because either the website doesn't have the information they need or because that person isn't in a place that they can pick up the phone and call, you're going to find that <clears throat> putting this chat widget on there has this really great effect. Three times a day, someone will click that silly widget, they'll, they'll ask a question um, that is basically, hey, listen, can, can you do this for me? And the real answer is, if the answer is yes, I will pay you. And because the chat widget, the way it's, it's architected, it turns the conversation into an SMS mes a message or an SMS conversation. If there is a delay in your client getting back to them, they still can get back to them because now we have the mobile phone of the person that came into the website to begin with. So the goal here is to provide software tools to the agency that they can then give to their clients or sell to their clients um, on a monthly recurring basis to not only provide leads and business, but also to create additional revenue for the agency and turn the agency into one part service, one part software company. Um, and it creates a lot of stickiness. Yeah, perfect segue into the snapshot. Um, so let's spend the last, I don't know, five, 10 minutes talking about the snapshot. So what, what Sean just got me saying is this. Let me just translate that into to money, okay? And um, there's one called snapshot, and you pay for the for the Mac Daddy version of, of Go High Level, I think it's you got the 297 and the 497 version, but in the 297, 297 version. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, snapshots are technically available in every single account level, but really to make great use of them, 297 for unlimited accounts is the place to go. There you uh, go. That's, that's, that's where I was going with it right there. That's right. The 297 a month gets you unlimited, unlimited snapshots. Meaning, meaning you pay 297 a month, you can turn around and like this is law hustle. I got one right now building out a snapshot for a home remodelers. Okay, and it's going to be a full fledged like calendar follow up system. Lead. It's a full deal. He's going to go. He's going to say we already priced it out. We've already put it into his product line. It's going to be a two thousand dollars system. He's like, dude, I don't have to do anything to turn it on. I'm like, no, ain't it fucking great? That's, that's two right. grand that you're going to get in your pocket. That's two grand you're going to get in your pocket for a setup fee. You're going to cook a damn mouse. Now, obviously, it's not that easy. You got to put the brand in there. There's more work to it than that. I don't want to over oversimplify it here, but uh, again, ten hours for two grand, not a bad day. Okay, I would agree. Then, then you can pretty much name your monthly fee as long as you don't price yourself out of the market. Don't be an idiot. But you can be 97, 197, 297, 397, 497, based upon the features and benefits and everything you're providing in that snapshot and get that monthly fee. And let me repeat this one more time. Unlimited. You pay 297. If you sell 10 of them at $97 a month, you're getting $970. You're actually making $700. And again, three hundred dollars takes care of all of your CRM management for your agency, all of your follow up for your agency, and provides you unlimited snapshots to make unlimited monthly reoccurring revenue that is guaranteed to keep that churn rate extremely low. Because once somebody sets up a CRM and you have a snapshot and they know they can't go anywhere else in the world to get it, there is nowhere else in the world that has this. It is an unfair competitive advantage that you can leverage for your business to drive your monthly reoccurring revenue through the roof. It yes, is sir. a game changer. I love it. This is what I actually sold. The final thing that sold me on this was this snapshot. That, that, Cause I'll tell you, I mean, I mean, we've been going back and forth now, what, six months? I've been asking yeah, pretty hard, yeah. pretty hard to tell. I mean, like, it's been a while. now I did. Yeah. Can we do it? Yeah, I, I know you've been, uh, I'm pacers of that much gratitude. I know it's not true either. And I apologize about the delays. But, I, but, but, but based on the kind of questions I've had, I mean, we've been involved in making sure this thing is perfect for agencies. And um, I'm definitely signing off on this thing. I love it. He and I are going to be, you're going to hear about me and Sean for the next <laughs> decade. We're gonna, I'm going to be promoting this thing for the next 10 years. So, yeah, um, well, I mean, it's really give me an, Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Just give me one example of a snapshot 
paint the picture of what one of your your clients, agency clients, has done. So they have put together a snapshot for this vertical or this niche. They have one, two, three, four, five, these pieces in there, and they sell them for this much all the time. Do you have like a simple yeah, case thing like that? Well, totally. Well, we can take this example right here. So if you're, if you're, so this, this agency law hustle, so, you know, they're like every, every other agency, right? They've got a, a, a big list of services that they offer. Um, uh, but what they're also doing is they're also offering the software on top of it, right? So th mm -hmm. they go to somebody like a visionary law group and they say, Hey, look, let's put the chat widget on your website, right? Let's do reputation management and reviews. Let's do Google, my business messaging. So that means if you've, if you've seen Google, my business messaging or you haven't quite yet, you go to Google right now and you search lawyer near me. And what pops up? It says, call, 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 call. Well, Google my business messaging. It says message. Oh, wow. I can message a law firm right off the Google listing. That's amazing. And so now that conversation comes right into high level, right into the conversations window. And so they're putting together these packages. And we also have missed call text back. So, you know, you ever have clients where you call them and, you're, you know, and they don't pick up the phone? Well, guess what? What if instead we automatically text that person back, say, hey, sorry, Mr. Call, love to help you out. How can we help you? Boom, we just turn that missed call into a text conversation, keeps the opportunity. So people are packaging these things up and they're selling them, you know, like you said, 297, 397, 497 a month. And here's what's great. The services they layer on top of that, that's great. But if you ever cut the services back, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I want to pause for this or pause for that or whatever. They keep the software. The software is- Yeah, they don't pause this. Right. That's right. So go, I mean, if you've yeah. ever, many, many, many people in the agency space, you've seen this type of software before, you've seen it from other outside software companies. Imagine now that you could be the software company in addition to the agency, right? And this is what I think is very key. When you have the software plus the service, this is where the agency becomes unstoppable. Because today, here's what I believe. I believe that every small business in the country, five years from now, you, you don't have these types of products. You don't have these types of, of technologies in your business. Sorry, you're done. You're going to go away. If I can't conveniently pick up my mobile phone and I'm on the go, I can't send you a quick message and say, hey, my, you know, my water heater went out. Can you guys make it over here this afternoon? Or what does it cost or whatever? If you don't have that, sorry, your competitors will. They're going to get the vast majority of the leads. You're going to go out of business. Today, though, you want to buy those as a small business. Who are you going to buy them from? You got to buy them from a software company. That software company, all they do is sell that thing. And, and if you need to do anything more with it, you need it set up, you need to know how to monetize it, you need to know how to grow it, you're ready to do something more, you want to run ads, you need an agency for all of those things. And today, it doesn't work like that. So we're here to change that, that narrative. Because again, as an agency, I think today, agencies do an amazing job on services. The place I see them get killed all the time is for whatever reason, and I think it's just about psychology, their clients determine, oh, you know what? Let's take a break for a month or let's, you know, let's try something else. But with the software in place, they never ever lose the client again because the software stays around. They build that recurring revenue. And, you know, for those of you who've been running agencies for a while, also think about the valuation metrics for an agency. You go to sell an agency and all it does is services. That is a very low valuation. You have a recurring revenue base that when you say, hey, listen, I've got $100,000 a month in recurring revenue. So if I get, if you buy my business tomorrow and, or I get hit by a bus tomorrow, all that recurring revenue just keeps coming in. That's, a, that's an amazing difference in valuation if you go, ever go to well, it's sell the difference. Business. It's the difference between getting a 1.52 valuation as opposed to a five, four, five, six, seven, eight of our X evaluation. So that's right. uh, it's that's a game, the yeah, absolute game changer. So, I mean, it's just an that's absolute why game changer. Companies, that's why software companies get venture capital and, and service companies do not. <laughs> There's a significant exactly, difference yeah. <laughs> in the, in the, that's in exactly the, it, but yeah. you know what, we're going to change that game. We're going to bring that same type of value into the agency. And we're going to show people that it's the combination of the software and the service under that same brand that really is going to change the world for not only the small business, but also for the agency owner all at the same time. That's exciting. I love it. I'm telling you, I mean, he has absolutely sold me on this platform. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, rolled it out for three of my students now. Uh, they love it as well. Um, it's just, I can't give high enough, high enough accolades for this thing. It's, it's great. Man, you're probably not going to like this, but just for full disclosure, it's not as powerful in the automation piece. 
as some of the other things. But in my opinion, for agencies, that's a good thing. The reason that's a good thing is you don't need all of that, okay? You, you only need the certain things you need. And he's got those in here, okay? So you, when it comes to, you know, just the basics, SMS pushing, uh, uh, send this email, wait three days, do the, the, what you need, okay, for running an agency is definitely in here. Uh, now, if you're a hardcore automation geek, you know, honestly, Infusionsoft, HubSpot will probably be a little bit better search for you because it's, you know, that's what they do. That's, that's all they do, right? But if you're an agency and you're looking to run all aspects of your agency and have the critical pieces you need for very cost effective and keeping your, I'm sorry, giving you the ability to build out your monthly key reoccurring revenue and get that cash flow stabilized and get that X number much higher. It's hard to beat it, man. It's, it's very, well, and, uh, it's I, impossible I to beat it. We're, we're, mm. we're a young company, so we're not done yet. We have a, we actually have a big drag and drop workflow builder coming out later this month. And so, and I think we'll put us right on par with uh, the folks at HubSpot and active campaign. So, um, Ooh, I, nice. I think, I, oh yeah, I, th I think, I think in very short order, um, we'll have everything they've got um, at a much at a much better rate. Um, but we will always err on the side of what you need versus what you what what can be possible. Yeah, yeah. And that actually is what I was attempting to say there. What you, you focus on what agencies need, not just what's possible. Okay, it's, it's really more. This is a uh, in my what I call a business case. There's a legitimate business reason to have this in for an agency. A lot of other CEOs just put all kind of technical shit in there because they love it. They love it. It's, That's you know, right. it's possible That's to right. do it. So, and, and, you know, that really is, it, it's cool for early adopters. It's cool for certain people, but for the majority of you, 95% of you, it's dramatic overkill. You're paying for shit you don't need. And that's another reason I love I'm telling you, it just, it just fits the agency model perfectly. So, all right, this is what I call a shameless plug moment. But so first, I'm going to do the shameless plug because we're actually doing a webinar together when the hell is it it's coming in, i think it's in march when is it again i can't remember when, when, when i don't when know you tell me <laughs> you know yeah anyway happening. it's coming up <laughs> it's coming up i think it's uh, i think it's in first week of march i'd have to get a bunch of no i'm sorry third week of march whatever anyway let me double check that we're gonna be putting all this out there pretty soon so that's my shameless plug now what's your shameless plug sean oh, well if you want to find out more about go high level obviously you know come on down we're gohighlevel.com and uh you know but uh, the, the cool thing is um you know if you if you are working with Lee, he has an amazing sales system and that sales system is built out in a snapshot. Imagine that, um, it, that you can get only from him, by the way. So you might wanna, before you sign up, go see Lee first because he can not only give you uh, access to high level through him, but also along with it, you can get his amazing sales system if you're working with him. So I definitely think that's, that's the way I would go. Definitely. We are actually in the process of getting that built out right now. And we are, that is actually what the webinar is about. So you're going to be able to get a, an exclusive slap, snapshot oh, of my oh, agency sales system. Sorry, I didn't mean to steal your thunder there, Lee. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't, I don't. I'm all about pre-framing, pre-seeding. That's all good. I'll put this into a video name and tell it after we'll make it happen. So it'll be all good. So Sean, thank you so much. For of course. Thank you for having agency. me. It was awesome. No, I man, I'm telling you what your platform is doing for agencies is heaven sent. And I just can't thank you enough for having the visionary fortitude, because I will say when you started building this, it probably wasn't the most obvious direction, right? No, so to no, have that no. to have that vision, have that visionary fortitude to go after that and see that it's going to evolve. Muito kudos, man. That takes a lot of that takes a lot of. Uh, that's cool. Very very cool. I really appreciate it. So thank you so absolutely. much. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you for having me, and thank you for supporting us and giving us all of your advice and all of your feedback. It, it helps a lot. And it's honestly how we learn and how we do better. I mean, we're very much focused on, look, we want to be the absolute best platform out there for agencies. Thank you so much. Everyone out there have a wonderful day and I will see everybody on the flip side. Bye. Hello everyone. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And of course, let's get you over to the next episode. If you have not already, make sure to subscribe to my podcast. And if you are not following us on YouTube or in our private Facebook group, make sure to get over there and check those out as well. And of course, we're also available, always available at marketingagencycoach.com. Look forward to seeing you in all those channels, and I hope you're having a wonderful day.